called those Patriots. <laughs> a little late morning here. Gonna go check the uh, cusk lines. I have to, actually I have to pull them because I have to go to work the rest of the week. So uh, just makes it easier. I can leave them out and check them after work or whatever. But as long as it's every 24 hours. I think I'll just pull them. First things first. Sure, some of you might recall the scene here, but just look at the mountains in the background. That water you see down there, that's Lake Wentworth. Uh, like I said, this is right up the road for me, and by right up the road, I don't mean like the next town over or whatever. This is actually the road I live on. So, uh, just beautiful mountain ranges back there. That's exactly where we're headed. So again, Lake Wentworth. We're actually headed on the other side of that to Lake Winnipesaukee. Check our cusp lines, but just a beautiful area. Unbelievable. Shack 
folks out there. Next weekend is a pretty big fishing derby. So if you'll uh, excuse the wind, it's pretty typical here. So we got some ice shacks out. Good thing to do, smart thing would be to mark these and not do what I'm doing. And I'll show you in a minute. Just from the wind blows the snow around, uh, covers all your traps up of course. But I didn't mark mine. But I do set mine in such a way uh, in some type of line or formation uh, so I can come back and if I can find at least one I should be pretty good. But, uh, I only see four right now, so I have two missing. Doesn't feel like anything there, so uh, I'm gonna pull them anyway. So we'll pull it right out and just see. Doesn't feel like anything on there. China. That's it. Kind of a small, not too small, it's not bad actually, but on the smaller side. Such a cool fish. That's what we're after. Just in the bucket with him. Wrap up our trap because we're leaving. On to the next. You're a real idiot. You'll cut your line like I did. But it happens. Now, it doesn't feel like there's anything on this one, but nope. Just a shiner. This is three out of six. I got uh, one more just behind me, and I still gotta look for the other two. I didn't mark them. It's a dummy. Yep, 
cut another one <laughs> on a friggin' roll farrier. either. Not even any bit. So now, like I said, I'll have to poke around a little bit and find my other two, two traps. But uh, I set this up like almost like a check mark. So now I just gotta walk the line and figure it out. So, found it here, obviously. I, uh, like I said, I didn't mark mine. Most of the people here do. Uh, probably a, a good thing to do. But again, I set mine up in such a way that, that you know, don't just put them randomly. Uh, if you make some type of formation or something that you can remember, uh, it's not too often bad to find. Pretty big one uh, yesterday. So I had a, wasn't a class, but had some buddies up doing some ice fishing. They've, they've never fished ice fished before, so uh, Bernie and Mark. So we pulled a real nice one through the ice. Uh, very exactly the same as today. Uh, one for six. But not bad. Didn't have to stand here and jig for it. Or, Set a tip up or anything. Just set your trap, and as long as you're within 24 hours, just come back and check it. Uh, we have a pretty decent cusk. But yeah, again, a pretty weird-looking fish. Pretty cool though. Yeah, he's uh, he's a little well over a foot long, maybe 16 inches maybe. He'll be good eating. What it is. All right, time to get out of here. Another one for six day, uh, but that's not bad, right? Uh, awesome cusk here. Uh, very good eating. Very cool looking. Um, and easy to do right set a trap in the ice uh, check it within 24 hours don't have to sit out in the cold or anything just gotta go out there to check them <laughs> uh, and it was some cold today pretty breezy it always is on Lake Winnipesaukee but uh, you know it's, it's fun so I had to pull the traps like I said because I have to work the rest of the week uh, I could go after work and check them but it's just a hassle so pulled them um, you know, until next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, nothing spectacular, nothing fancy. I'm just checking cusp lines, pull one out of the ice. Uh, the one we got yesterday with my buddies was uh, pretty big. So, uh, just gonna fillet this dude up, probably fry him in the pan. Pretty simple, and uh, enjoy it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Take care, guys, and I will see you soon in another video.